Hello everyone, my name is Justina and I'm very happy to see that you have clicked this video because in this video I'm going to give you some tips on the collaboration tools from the perspective of a UX designer. I have been UX designing for many years and it has been a passion of mine and recently with COVID and whatnot some aspects of this design process, design thinking process has changed, meaning that a lot of things have to be done online. And one of those things is workshops. I don't know if you have ever participated in workshops, but um, workshops are never an easy thing to facilitate or even participate uh, when those workshops are in real life. So imagine the level of complexity added when we take all of this and put it online. So I've done 10 days of workshops, online workshops, and five days each with different tools, one with the mural and one with the Miro. And I would like to give you some tips if you're thinking of which one to choose for your online workshops. So let's begin. Question number one. How easy is it for the attendees to access the workshop board? So what I like to do before beginning any of my workshop is to give this like little fun, easy, quick exercise for all of the attendees to complete. And I do that for one reason and one reason only, to make sure that they have registered with the tools and they know a little basics of how to use it. So I would usually send a link, you know, with the board and, and most often than not, I just ask them to put the post-it note on the country where they would be dialing from. So that's the activity. When I did it with Mural, it worked like a charm. Nothing to think about, nothing to worry about. I just shared the link to this uh, board and I was able to see who have accessed the board, who have participated because I would get an email notification telling me of exactly that. With Miro, that was a completely different story. I needed much more interaction with the tool to allow participants to post their post-it note. The beginning was exactly the same. I created the board, sent the link to all the attendees. Every time attendee want to, wanted to access it, the Miro would send me an email telling that this is a person trying to access the board. I should give them permission to do so. Okay, nice. I do it once. I do it twice, three times, 30 times, 50 times. You see where I'm going? It is a little bit too difficult. I mean, of course, I can see why they're doing that. You know, maybe security reasons. But also imagine if your attendees are in the US time zone and you operate in the European time zone, even when I give them the access, it might be night at their place. So that was a very not convenient thing. So if you're thinking of using one of those tools, be aware that you have to manually give the access to mirror boards for your attendees. And in mural, it's enough just to share the link. So I would say Miro zero, mural one point. Okay, question number two. What about summoning everyone during the workshop? The way I see it is that you need to expect uh, people to have different levels of the knowledge of technology and especially of those tools. There are new tools, right? So just, you know, expect that you would need to summon people a lot. So let's talk about the tools. And by the way, uh, I had only a free version of both of those tools, so I haven't paid for anything. So when I was using Mural, everything worked like a charm. I could decide if I want to so summon everyone to see what I'm seeing, a particular person. And I actually have another thing that, which I really, really like is that not to, you know, violently taking you from your screen view and putting it on my screen view, but um, requesting a person to follow me. So kind of like gently nudging, like, okay, if when you're done, just look at this, what Justina wants you to look at worked like a charm. I love it. When we talk about Miro, on the other hand, it's a completely different, different story. Um, with my free account, I could summon only one person per click. So 
Imagine it's the first hour of your workshop. You don't know the names of your attendees and especially how they sound when they speak to you. And people are asking you, like, oh, Justina, could you please summon me? Could you please summon me? And you're like, oh, what's your name? And then I have to click on the list of all the attendee names, look for the name and click on them. And then they would see what I'm seeing. It was very, very not good uh, user experience. It was too many clicks and there were too many participants to do that by individual. So I would say Miro zero points and Mural two points. Okay, and the last question. What about the flow of the boards? Would they crash depending on how much outputs we are creating on them? Fantastic questions. Fantastic, fantastic questions, because imagine you have five days of workshop and I usually like to keep it in one big board so you can see what you've done during the first day, during the second day. You know, I'm not creating like different files for each day, but everything is in one day. And I had very different experiences, even if I created the same activities with similar, obviously, outputs, I had very different experiences depending on the tool. Let's talk about Mural first. You know, it was doing very good and different on the two previous parameters, but this parameter, it handled poorly. <laughs> you know, I was able to see that even during the first day, when we have done half of the workshop day, it was behaving much slower. You know, it took forever for the post-it notes to be on the screen or for me to move the post-it notes. It's, you know, like this incredible, incredible lag that really makes you feel frustrated. So this is, this is how it felt and I'm, I'm sure maybe the attendees felt something similar. But when we look at the mirror, it acted absolutely differently. No matter how many outputs we have created or which day we have been creating at, it never crashed on me. It handled the information perfectly. And I cannot even tell you how important it is um, during the fourth or the fifth day of the workshop. You just want everything to, you know, to end smoothly. And this tool really, really enabled me to achieve that. So I would say Miro one point and Neural two points. So, the verdict. So, everything considered, I would recommend using Mural and Miro interchangeably. I think those two tools are great and they're great in their own specific fields, right? They have strengths and weaknesses as everything and everyone else on this planet. But I would like you to learn what is important for you and for your workshop and choose the tool accordingly. I wouldn't say that necessarily, you know, one tool is amazing and the other one is horrible. I think both of those tools are doing pretty well. And I think the upcoming months and years, they're just going to do even better. So I think it, it is very important to know what you're looking for in the workshop and then to tailor your decision. I hope that the questions that I have asked myself and answered by myself as well are going to help you in this decision. And for now, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day and let's connect on a different video. Bye bye.